Hey everybody, it's time for another Team Absolution unboxing. Today, we unleash the darkness. Stay tuned. And there we go. Got trash. Joy. Oh, <gasps> blaster dark Diablo. Oh, he's foiled. He's so shiny. Oh, what's this? What's this? We have a signed one. Ooh, ooh, two foils for the price of one. I feel like I did good. So there we go. Signed one. Didn't even expect that. Haha. <laughs> awesome. So there we go. Our two common ones, which I will trade out for better things. We got our Dorant. He's not grade one. He's been lifting 22k lines with unflip. Sounds good, boss. Then we got the young Dark Heart Trumpeteer. He's not Dark Bond. He is way better. Use him. He is good. Then we got Charon. Ooh, Charon. We got four of them. He's not an 8K vanilla, thank the Lord. He actually does things. He does good things. He's stride fodder. That isn't exactly stride fodder. What could be wrong? Cool. And then we got... The young Nemain. This Nemain is young. This Nemain is old. Young. Oh, young. Uh, I like her school. It's a nice draw then drop. Not drop then drop for those of you paying attention at home. Uh, it still can only protect the Vanguard, so maybe one day when the X goes away and Commander Law gets hit, we'll use her. But yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And then we got a foil crit trigger. Oh, look at that. It comes with foiled crits, because I like foiled crits. Not Revenger crit. Oh, well. Still cool. And we got our Morgul, our Margul clone, the Howl Owl. So shiny. So pretty. Triggers with effects are usually good. That's my philosophy. Cool. So, the second half of the deck. Just stored away. Ooh, it's the big man. It's the boss. Should be scared. Are you scared? You should be. So, got four of the Diablo. He's nice. He is insta-win. He is, oh, sorry. You've got resist units or no rear guards at all. Too bad. Oh, you got four of them. That's great. Only need one legend deck. I bought four. Haha, <laughs> I like my fools. You got Badakar. He's not a 10k grade three, so he's already better. Um, I'll probably switch him out for Gust Blaster, PBD, PBO, something along those lines. Uh, he's not terrible. Could be far worse. We got Matcha. Ooh, look at that. CB1 on boost color grade one. That's nice. That's none of that CB2 crap. Can't afford that nowadays. Then we got, oh, my poor buddy, my clear. What have they done to you? Uh, a moment of silence for my clear. Oh, well. And then we got four Claudus. This Claudus I will use. I had the promo Dark Goat, so I never actually had to use Claudus in Raging Form. This Claudus is good. I will use you. Good job, Claudus. And we got our starter, Full Bow Brave. I wasn't around for the Full Bow days, but now I am. He's nice. He's search your Diablo, search your Gust Blaster, whatever you really want. And we got oh, another set of crit triggers. What? No stands? Darn. Oh, well. Well, these are Revengers. I'll probably use them because they look cool. I've got a foil one. Just open my other Legend decks and I'll have full foil crit triggers, which is nice. Uh, yeah. And last, heals. Foiled. Uh, not a Revenger. He's a cute puppy. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's been the Legend deck. You can check out our rant about this deck, actually, up here, somewhere in the corner about there. Um, and we'll also be doing deck profiles for the various builds that Diablo may come in. But to see that, you guys stick around to Team Absolution. Thanks, guys.